All the believers were unified and shared everything. They would sell their land and lay the money at the apostles' feet, and the money was given to anyone in need. Barnabas, a Levite, was one of the people who did this. He sold a field he owned and gave all the money to God by laying the money at the apostles' feet. Thank you, Barnabas. This money will go to good use. I'm glad I can help. A married couple named Ananias and Sapphira sold a piece of property and went to give it to the apostles. However, they kept some of the money for themselves. Hello, Peter. Hello, Ananias. I sold my property, and I'm giving it to God all the money that I sold it for. Ananias, how did the Satan fill your heart so that you would lie? You have not lied to men, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down dead. Three hours later, Sapphira came to see the apostles, not knowing what happened to her husband. Sapphira, tell me, is this the price that you received on the land that you sold? Yes, that is how much we sold it for. How could you test the Spirit of God like this? After Peter spoke, Sapphira also fell down dead. The apostles performed many miracles, and more people were becoming believers in Jesus. The priests became jealous, though, and had the apostles arrested and thrown in jail. But God opened the jail door and told the apostles to tell people the good news of Jesus in the temple courts. However, the temple guards saw this and brought the apostles to trial. We have told you to stop preaching about Jesus. We must obey God more than men. We will not stop speaking the name of Jesus. I have had enough of all you. Let's put them to death. I would like to say something. Yes, Gamaliel, what do you have to say? Let's let these men go. If they are telling lies, then their teaching will fail on their own. But if it really is from God, we won't be able to stop it no matter what we do. Fine, let them go, but whip them first and tell them not to speak about the name of Jesus again. So the disciples were taken and whipped. When they were let go, they all rejoiced for being able to suffer for the name of Jesus. They then went and never stopped preaching that Jesus is Lord.